Hey everyone and welcome back to Roadside Coder and welcome to the first video of Merge Stack tutorial series. In this series, we will learn full stack web development from absolute scratch. That means you don't need to have any prior knowledge of these technologies whatsoever, just the basic JavaScript. So the Merge Stack consists of four technologies. M for MongoDB, that is our database. E for Express.js, which is our web framework used for building powerful APIs. R for React.js, which is our front-end library used for building our front-end. And N for Node.js, which is our web server. We will build a powerful full-stack node staking app project along the way so you can learn this tech stack by doing. So let's get started and have a comprehensive look on the project that we are going to build. So let's go to our browser and type nodezipper.herokuapp.com. So if you don't know what Heroku is, Heroku is a hosting service where you can host your apps for free. So right off the bat, you can see we have got this message, welcome to the node zipper, one safe place for all your nodes. And indeed it is. So we have two options over here, login or sign up. If you go to sign up, it allows you to sign up with your name, email address, password, and profile picture. I already have an account, so I'm gonna go on to the login. Let's type my email and password. So since this app is using Redux for the state management, if when we log in, watch what happens. Whoops. So we have successfully logged in and you can see user login request. First, this state was called when user info was null and when your user login was success, you can see all of the user login info has been added to our state. And the second request was nodes list request. And when the nodes list request was success, it, we got the list of our nodes. That is over here, our list of nodes. So now that we are logged in, let's explore this. So we have got create new node option. We have all of our node. When we click on it, it expands to show the content. And we have my notes and we have our name over here with the drop down of my profile and logout. Let's go to my profile. And you can see we have this profile info over here, our name, email address, we can change our passwords, we can change our profile picture by clicking over here. Let's go back to my notes. Now let's go on and create a new note. Let's enter creating a new Mern course. And for the content, so this content accepts the markdown syntax. So the markdown syntax is the same syntax that we use to write our readme files. If you want, you can write the normal way as well, but if you want to give some headings, etc., so you can also take the advantage of markdown syntax. For example, if I want to have the heading, I'm gonna go introduction. So first video is introduction, the video that you're watching. So in this video, we discussed about Mern stack we discussed about our project and etc. So this is how a uh, markdown syntax work. So if I type, I love Mern stack. And if I want to make Mern stack bold, I can give these two asterisks around Mern stack. And here you can see in the notes live preview, it gets updated quickly. So let's save this note. Let's give it a category of YouTube and create a note. There we go. The note has been added to the list of notes. Now let's see where are these notes actually getting stored. So this is our MongoDB database. Let's go to users and try to find where my user is. Okay, so try it over here. Piyush Agarwal and we can see the email and notice the password is stored in an encrypted format. So even the database manager cannot even see the password, what the password is. So this is a really cool feature of this app. We will use something called bcrypt to encrypt the password in our database. Now, where are these notes stored? So we have this other option of notes. If we go inside it, we have all the notes that users have created. And here's our latest note with the title, the content and created at and updated at. Now speaking of updated at, we can also update our notes if we go on over here and click on edit. But first of all, let's explore our note. So you can see we have the content over here, the category and the created on date. 
let's go on and edit our note so i'm gonna just add one more star so it gets italic and i'm gonna save it so now you see it has updated the note successfully let's go on to delete this note if we click on delete it's gonna ask us are you sure okay now you can see this that beautiful loading animation and the note has been successfully deleted and if we check on our redux you can see there are tons of requests over here first notes update request notes list request so let's go on and create a note let's see our redux this time i'm going to type anything doesn't matter and let's create note and now you can see the state notes create request first of all it requested to create the note so loading got true and when the note was successfully created the loading got false and success got true so the notes is created and now note list request and note list success now if we delete this note you're gonna see it's gonna fire off the delete state just like that notes delete request and note delete success now if you don't know anything about redux or react don't worry we're gonna discuss everything in this course so stay tuned for the upcoming videos and in the next video we're gonna discuss what merge stack is by going on each and every technology one by one now that our work over here is done i'm gonna click on over here and click on log out so our app is logged out and in the redux you can see user log out it removed the information from our state. So this is our node zipper application. You can find the link to the complete playlist in the description. So don't forget to follow the playlist and build this node zipper application by yourself. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.